To start, I'll sign into my Canva for Education account by using my CCSD21 Google email. From the home page, there are actually several ways that we can start a poster. Stay tuned until the end of the video to see all the ways, but for now, I'll show you the simplest methods. You'll want to either search for keywords in this search box and choose a template as your starting point, or you can go up here to create a design to choose a specific size. I would recommend this method if you're printing because you can more easily control the dimensions of your project and you don't have to worry about resizing the canvas later. Even though I started with a blank design, I can still search in two's templates here on the side menu. You can click a design to select it. You should commit to a template in the beginning because once I make changes to this design, changing the template will override any changes that I've made. For the sake of our example, I'll keep a blank design. When I click the background, you'll notice that this purple outline appeared. That means it's selected. I can now go up here to this rainbow square and I can change the color. We have district colors here, default colors here, and you can pick your own solid color or gradient up here. The eyedropper is helpful if you're matching a specific color. Next, let's add some text by going here. You can choose a stylized option like these, or just add a text box and start from scratch. Resize the text by dragging the text box or by changing this number. Make sure the text is selected and you can use the rainbow A to change the color of the text. And you can go up here to change the font as well. You can also use the effects menu to add pizzazz to the words and make them stand out. If you want to change the letter spacing or the line spacing, select your text and choose this button and you can make adjustments. Now we'll add some pictures. You can actually upload a picture in this tab Once the picture's uploaded, I can click on it. I can resize with these dots in the corner and crop it like this. Something else that's really cool is I can go to edit photo and I can actually remove the background using the beach ball. Canva also has thousands of pictures to choose from here in the Elements tab. Type your keywords and you can select graphics for cartoons or photos. With some elements, you can click and change the color. With photos, you can also click and drag to the edge of the design to make that the background. Or you can also click a picture, right click on it 
and choose to replace background as well. If it's hard to space things evenly or to center them, what you can do is click and hold shift for each thing you want to center. You can use the three dots or right click. You can choose to align elements center, or you can also choose to space evenly or tidy up. You can also hold shift and click multiple objects to select them all at once and move them. And you can group them together and duplicate them as well. Don't forget to name your design. Now we'll download and print it. Everything saves automatically, so don't worry about that. We're going to share. We're going to scroll down to download. Since I'm printing this design, I'll choose PDF print and download. When it's downloaded, I'll open it up. If I have a paper that's the correct size, I can just print it right away. But since I have a huge poster, I'm going to show you how to tile the design so you can tape multiple pages together after you print. Now that my design is downloaded, I'm going to open it in Adobe Acrobat. I'll click print and poster. Now I will adjust the tile scale and in the preview, I'll see that I'll print four pages and tape them together to equal 17 by 22 inches. And I'll do a one inch overlap just to help me match the pieces easier. Now let's print and put it together. Once your pages are all printed out, you'll cut the white borders off of each one. Then once everything's cut out, you'll line up the pages, overlapping them by one inch. You'll use either tape or glue to secure them. I think glue would look a little bit neater, but either one works. And now you have a giant poster. If you're using Canva with students, you may want them to start with a template. You can create your own design and use it as a template by going to share, scrolling down, choose more, and choose template link. Click Create Template Link and Copy. When you share the link with students, they'll get a page that looks like this, and they can click Use Template for New Design. And this way, they can have their own copy of what you created without changing your original. This is a nice starting point for their designs. As a teacher, I can also start a poster by using the classroom kits or lesson library links in the description. Classroom kits are sorted by different themes, such as forest, or bees, space, and more. The Lessons Library is new. This allows you to find a collection of designs that share the same topic, such as life cycles or the solar system. I hope you feel empowered to start your first design. If you like this video and want more Canva content, be sure to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.